Hey everybody, this is the update for Sunday, October 14th. Here's what we had going on, first of all. My good friend, Forrest Layton, uh, from Nashville, was home for a few weeks, and so we asked him to play. He has this really nice new GNL Telecaster. It's beautiful. It sounds great. So we had Forrest, and then we had April Holder, who is a relatively new church member who's asked to, to sing. And I heard her sing a few weeks ago, a little solo piece, and brought her on with the team. Both of them did so, so good. Forrest, I knew, would be dead on learning the tracks. Um, I knew he would learn the parts, and he did. Um, but even then, was was still just real impressed with his playing and his tone. April Holder knew the songs cold. I mean, she had learned the vocal parts just perfectly. Didn't use any sheet music. Um, got up on stage and just did a bang-up job. Here are the songs we did. Uh, song one, Our God Saved by Paul Walsh. Second week to do that. I think it worked. I think it went well. I think the band did great. Um, I don't know if it's if it's the best opener. I mean, it's an opener on the CD, uh, but maybe not. But anyway, I, I think it, it came off really well. I think we, we nailed uh, the arrangement, um, and I think it was okay crowd-wise. Had a break um, with uh, baptism and some announcements and stuff. And then we did Ross King's Praise the Lord for our second song. Uh, this is kind of where Forrest impressed me by learning the electric guitar parts that were uh, they're pretty integral to the song, but we've never really focused much time on them as a band, and it was nice to have that. Um, so that was good. From there, we went into Paul Balash's Stir Up a Hunger, which I have decided that song always works. That song always works here. I just... It never fails. But we did the full version, even though song three, you know, later in the set, we did the full version with the drum intro. It was great. Forrest knew the parts, and, and the vocals sounded good, and keys and everything just really worked well together. Um, from there, we had a break, and we did, uh, there was a prayer over the offering, and then we came back with Come Ye Sinners, the Robbie C. version. Now, we've done Come Ye Sinners for quite some time that a guy had just played me just on his guitar years ago. So, so we've never been doing exactly like the Robbie C version, but we've been pretty close. However, we didn't have sort of that signature guitar riff, uh, the intro and after every chorus. And so Forrest had learned that, sort of made the point to you know, make sure the team understand that the CD version was in F sharp, and we were bumping it to E. And uh, that one went good. That version's really cool. We didn't do the um, the little bridge. There's like this really cool, like four chord to six chord sort of jam. Um, we would have, we just didn't have time. We were get, needed to get to the sermon. Uh, and I actually got to help preach the sermon. Uh, the associate pastor, uh, who's our every, every week preacher, and the youth director and myself preached on the story of the ten lepers. And it came off really well. We got a lot of good feedback on the, you know, the team teaching type of deal. Um, and I, I, think, I think the text was, was uh, respected, but also really sort of... Um, broken down and looked at in a lot of different ways, and I, I think it came off really well. So it was a real good attitude in the room, uh, in the service, that was just really, really, really nice. A good day, a really good day on a lot of different, a lot of different levels. Um, and I've listened to the record through about two times uh, since I got them last night or yesterday, I think. Um, and I'm loving this record. Um, still just two or three things I'll probably change, but other than that, I think we're really close to mastering. And so that's really, really fun. When I had the mixes, I let my bands, all the guys that play with me, kind of start listening to the tracks. Um, just to kind of get an idea of what the songs are going to sound like, because some of them were quite different than what we played before. What I was not prepared for is when you let people hear those. Um, well, here's the deal. Um, if I had handed them a CD and said, this is the record, um, they probably would have said love it. But there's something about when people know they're listening to a, a first mix that they feel they can volunteer their own production advice, uh, which is a little bit frustrating. Um, 
so with this next set of, of, of corrections and, and, and things, more things under the mix, uh, I'm trying to keep it tight a little now. I think the bands have enough idea of what's going on that um, this would just be for me and mine uh, to, to listen to and, and decide on. Oh, also this week, uh, it is my goal to meet with Blake to talk about CD cover and find out where we are on ToddRoundMusic.com. You can go try it, but uh, pretty sure it's not up yet. So, um, really getting really busy around here. This Friday, Saturday, I'll be in Houston at a seminar. Come home Sunday uh, and sing one song Sunday in a big combined service in our sanctuary. I'm doing my song Beautiful, which I've never done here. Uh, so I'm excited to do it. I'm just going to do it as a solo piece in our traditional service. Uh, and then Sunday night, uh, do start a four-night revival in Colmenale, Texas. Um, and then after the revival's done, it's moving time. We're going to close on our house October 29th. So we are working like crazy people um, to get moved. And my parents moved out of their house and that whole thing. Um, other stuff that's going on, I ordered a new video game. Uh, you know, GameCube for life. I wish I had like a GameCube symbol, or like if I had a lot of editing time, I could fly like a GameCube thing in here. Anyway, order a new GameCube game. Hopefully that'll be in this week because, uh, well, I got lots of time for games. Anyway, um, if anybody wants to buy me anything, uh, I'm really digging shirts at uh, randomshirts.com, randomshirts.org. If you want to buy me a shirt, uh, I really like the black one that says, I love copters. So you can buy me that shirt, uh, biggest size they got, if you know what I'm saying, um, and send it to Todd Wright. Uh, one thousand? No, 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 no. Let's do this. Let's do First United Methodist Church. Uh, attention, Todd Wright, 805 East Denman Avenue, Lufkin, Texas. They're like twelve dollars shirt. So buy me a shirt, and I'll wear it right here. And also, the search for Joel Gillum. Um, we 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 had we had a. a some information that last weekend was his 10-year high school reunion, he, so he would have been here. Um, and so, you know, we're trying to find him. So uh, keep looking. Joel Gillum graduated from Lufkin High School in 97. Bye, guys.